the standard of docu data documentation has improved tremendously over the last 20 years or so. It's now standard for funding councils or ONS or other bodies who are involved in the creation of secondary data to pay much more attention to the quality and the comprehensiveness of the data documentation that goes with it. So that usually the problem that you face is not so much that um, there's a question that you can't find an answer to in the data documentation, rather the problem is finding whereabouts in what's often very voluminous data documentation, that answer may lie. Uh, so that you'll have copies of all the different questionnaires that may have been used in a study with different kinds of questionnaires for different kinds of respondents. Uh, you'll have information about the different routing through those questionnaires that different respondents will have gone through. You've got, for example, syntax on how new variables were derived from the original variables created from respondents' answers to the questions, and so on and so on. On top of that, you've got information about the way the sample was constructed, what was done with uh, difficult to contact or difficult to identify members of the sample, things like that. So that there's a lot of information to get your head around when you're starting to do a piece of secondary data analysis.